Episode 181, Micro Focus Moments in Goal Setting with Amber Wynn. Welcome to Latter Day Life Coaches, the podcast where each episode is a conversation between me, Heather Rackham, and one of my amazing coach colleagues. Each coach here is a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints and a highly trained, experienced life coach making a great impact in the lives of their clients. And together, we have one main goal, helping you live your best life no matter what. You ready for this conversation with the coach? Here we go. Goals are great things to set, but all too often we let our goals be another area that we beat ourselves up and think we aren't good enough because we aren't accomplishing the goals fast enough or well enough. Coach Amber Wynn has come up with a term she calls micro-focused moments, where she helps her clients look for the small wins and accomplishments they are achieving every day by stopping to recognize them. She feels it's so important to do this because in the recognition of the daily wins, that is when we will reach the overall goal we originally set out to accomplish. This is a great episode if you feel like you aren't moving forward in your goals and you need a shift in the way you think about goals and accomplishing them. If you'd like more insight on this matter, please reach out to Amber. Enjoy this episode. Welcome, everybody, to Latter-day Life Coaches. Um, If you're joining us for the first time, we're glad you're here. If you have been here before, we are glad you're here. And I am joined today by the amazing Amber Wynn. Hey, Amber. Hi, how are you? Fantastic. I'm if you guys are listening to this on the podcast, you can't see, but if you're watching it on YouTube, you can see she's got this like beautiful hutch behind her and flowers and it just, and an old telephone. This is so fun. I love, I'm like oh, yeah. studying all the things back there. <laughs> of course, I'm studying you as well, but I get to study your brain. We get to pick your brain here, but I have to give the study away <laughs> the layout of the land behind you. But Amber, okay. I am going off on a tangent. Will you introduce yourself for us before we get started today? Yes, absolutely. So I like to call myself the love coach just because I love all things love. Um, And my heart really beats to help women discover their inner strength and boost their belief in themselves so that they'll stop being so hard on themselves and just start living from a place of love and confidence. So, okay. We yeah. all need you. We all need you. <laughs> are these brains of ours that we live in? Like I just stopped to listen to mine for a brief second this morning. And I thought this is chaos. Like this brain of mine is <gasps> chaos. And if I believed everything that it said to me, I would like stay in bed all day long. They're so sneaky, aren't they? <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm so proud of myself for getting out of bed today. Hey, me too. Yes. I'm (laughs) proud of you and I'm proud of me. (laughs) Oh, it's so good. All you listeners, be proud of yourself for listening to this. I love you all. No, I know. It's so good. And aren't we the luckiest? We're the luckiest that we get to have these conversations and get to talk about these things that are so useful and helpful in all of our lives. Okay. I could just keep going, but We have important things to talk about today, so we will get going. I am a goal setter. I don't, I've just kind of always been that way. And I I know from personal experience that when I, like in the beginning of a goal, like I got it, like I am on task, right? And then (laughs) I inevitably hit that wall where, okay, well. Hmm. Am I, am I really, was this really that important from the beginning? Right. All those things. So then I feel like I failed myself and there I go. Right. Like it's just kind of the cycle, set the goal. You feel like you fell. Oh, let's try it again. Anyway, there is a better way. Right. And Amber is going to talk to us about what she calls micro focused moments in accomplishing goals. So first off, what is the definition, Amber, of a micro focused moment? How would you define that? Yeah, totally. Okay. So these are tiny moments that we intentionally carve out into our day to create an overall change that we want for our future. Now, the idea stems from when we focus so much on something that we want, we tend to let other things go by the wayside. And then we're left with picking up all these other pieces that we avoided later. 
So for example, like as a mom, I have a lot of things on my plate. I wear a lot of hats. If we own a business, we wear a lot of hats. And that's not even mentioning our involvement in our community or our religion. So in my own life, I got to this point where all my time was spent loving and sacrificing for everything outside of me that was important, but I was trying to wear all these other hats and I lost myself in it. I realized that I needed to care for myself more because I wasn't liking the outcome. So my overall goal was to start noticing myself and trying to care for myself better while still wearing all of these many hats. And so that's kind of where this idea of having micro-focused moments came in. So it's like like your overall goal seems to me like it's this umbrella that just kind of encompasses absolutely all of it, which kind of guides your other micro-focused goals so that they're always underneath that umbrella of love and progression yes. and kindness. Yes. Okay. Yes. So important because we all know that, but yeah, those little things don't happen if they're coming from a place of unkindness or fear. Well, they might happen, but I'll talk to you in a minute about the journey. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you know, that's, that's part of it too. So Not fun. Yeah. Okay. You have clients. I'm certain that you work with this on a regular basis. Could you give us an example of a goal that a client has set um, using these micro-focused moments yeah, to accomplish? Abs- totally. Absolutely. So I'm working with one group in particular to help them deepen their faith in themselves, which means that they are working towards believing in a person that they don't necessarily see in themselves yet. So I ask them to think about characteristics of who they are on their best days or characteristics of who they want to be. So for me, for example, when I'm being my best self, I'm fun and I love everyone right where they are for who they are, including loving myself and accepting myself where I am at. And I see the beauty in simple things. And then I love to share that with others like roses and sparkles, all these little beauties, right? So I have a specific exercise that I take them through to help them figure this out. And after they identified their characteristics, we create a micro focused moment at the beginning of a day of their day. Um, before they grab their phone, to see what they've missed before they go to the bathroom, before they pray or anything else. They just take 30 seconds to remind themselves who their best self is not to tell them who they need to be, but to remind them who they already are because the truth is that is who they really are. Mm -hmm. But sometimes life just distracts us. So I asked them to, to try it for a week. And they came back and they couldn't believe the difference that it made in their mood and how they thought about themselves and how it set up their day. Some of them decided that every time they were struggling throughout the day, they took time for a micro focused moment and restated to themselves who they truly were. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that is amazing. And I really appreciate that you differentiated between who they think they should be Mm -hmm. and who they are. Because that is, is huge. That, that difference is huge. Yes. The sneaky thoughts, just like you were talking about, right? (laughs) Yeah. And I, you know, I wake up every morning. I notice a lot with just kind of this underlying edge of anxiety that, and, and that might be kind of a strong word, but I just kind of feel a little bit like, I don't know, agitated in the morning. Maybe where Um, am I lacking? You're looking for where am I lacking? And I can see if I woke to that, like, okay, this is me in full love and acceptance. Like that would totally um, change the trajectory, trajectory, (laughs) trajectory of my day. And anyway, I, I just, cause I, I, I can see that I am looking to who I should be versus who I am every morning. Yeah. It raises the feel goods inside, right? Yeah. Great, great point to make. Okay. When it comes to goals, many people want to accomplish them, not only 
to achieve the goal, but they want to feel accomplished. In fact, a lot of times that's the only reason why we want to, like we think, oh, this goal sounds great. And it really isn't even the goal. It's just the feeling that we're after when we accomplish it. Right. But then when it doesn't happen, like there's failure, um, we like, we feel upset on two spectrums, right? That we didn't accomplish it and that, well, we also don't feel accomplished. So it's kind of like this double whammy of, I don't feel, you know, of disappointment. Right. right? So, I'm no good and I'm disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Like I can't do anything that I set my mind to and I'm sad that I didn't accomplish that or whatever it was. So how do micro-focused moments not only help achieve the goal, but also help someone feel accomplished every day, as well as building confidence in themselves. Yeah. We, we love feeling like we've achieved something, don't we? I oh, mean, yeah. I know, I know I do Yeah, yep. <laughs> for me, it's because of what I make it mean about myself. You know, I grew up getting rewarded for getting good grades. I got rewarded for behaving and doing my chores. And then when I got older, I'd feel good by checking things off my to-do list. And I was just go, go, go to achieve my way to a really good feeling inside, which is great until you don't achieve it. <laughs> How can people stop paying us for the good things that we, you know, or like stop giving us candy bars for like doing the things we were supposed to do. Right. right? But like you sure. said, yeah, exactly. Only if we could get all that external validation, this would not be a problem anymore. <laughs> but then we don't, we don't achieve it. And like you said, we're left with disappointment and failure. And this is what I love. Having micro focus moments also means you are having micro wins. It's so easy to see this big goal that we have. And we go all in and then maybe we start to get a little tunnel vision around it. I know I do. When we reach this goal, it is awesome, but we forget the journey to it. So with this group that I was talking about, for example, our next step was to add, I just call it MFM because I like it's quicker than micro focus moment. <laughs> <laughs> so we add an MFM check in. We check in from the day. Remember their goal was to build faith in themselves. And a great way to do that is to take note of the wins, no matter how small. So before their head hits their pillow, maybe when they're brushing their teeth or just doing some other task that we normally do on autopilot, they check in on their day. What did I do today that I'm proud of? Not that I did it all or that I did it perfect, but what were at least three wins of the day? And I guarantee you, when you get started, you're like, oh, wait, and I did this and I did this, you know? And so it's setting yourself up to go to bed on that feel good high instead of feeling that hijacked low, going over all of the things that you didn't get done. So you're building a confidence in yourself instead of showing yourself why and how you failed. And I can't help but think that you probably sleep better when you go to bed on that note versus something else. So I think there's probably like some undercover little. Oh, there absolutely is. There, too. there absolutely is. You don't actually wake up trying to solve something. You mm -hmm. know how, how we were talking at, at the beginning of this call. Mm -hmm. It's like, where do I lack? You know, you wake up going, hey, that was a great day yesterday. And then you recite your 30 second MFM of these are all the great things this is who I am truly. And it just, it's a forward momentum to increase confidence, but in small little ways. So yeah, it's fantastic. Sometimes small tasks seem unimportant and our brain freaks out that it's too small, too slow. Like I know, I, I know that from experience, you know, I set little goals and I kind of do that at night. I'll be like, okay, tomorrow I'm going to do these things. And sometimes I think, oh, those are, that's just silly. That's a little yeah. thing that is insignificant, but how have you found that the exact opposite is true? Yeah. So these moments step you closer to your goal instead of spitting you in circles because it's all extra, right? We think it's mm -hmm. extra, but oftentimes 
when you have a big goal, there are many parts that will create the whole. It's like if you decided that you wanted to start competing in bodybuilding, there are so many muscles that you need to develop to get the end result. And when we go to the gym, there isn't one exercise that builds every single muscle in your body at once. Some will target multiple, but not every single muscle, right? We have to choose the muscles that we want to strengthen and then do specific exercises to build those specific muscles. So if you're wanting to grow your biceps, but you keep thinking about all the muscles in your legs, how fast will your biceps grow? (laughs) Not very fast, I'm guessing. And at the very least, your movement isn't as beneficial for you because your focus is lacking. So instead we take a deliberate moment to focus on our biceps and trust that doing this over time will get you the results that you want. And don't you find that when you do the little things, when you set small micro goals, I guess I'll use that word, they're they're sometimes easier wins. And those easier wins, like to your point, keep propelling us forward rather than getting discouraged. We're showing ourselves that we actually do and are capable of accomplishing what we say we're going to do. And Mm -hmm. so I actually think for sure that sometimes the smaller things, we, we gain so much more traction because we stick with them. Yeah. And we we, we like to do, yeah, totally. We like to discount the small things because Mm -hmm. it's, oh, it's just so small. Yeah. But you know, bicep is one muscle. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but for some reason we all want to see our defined biceps <laughs> or whatever, you know, I yep. mean, if you're into fitness, then you get that. If you're not, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I think everybody can it somehow relate to that. I mean, and, or if yeah. it's not that there's something else, right? Like we're, totally. we want all, there's all this, we all have things that we want. And I guess I think that's what we have to do is figure out what that is and then break that down into the smaller, simple tasks that help get us there. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. So even on a micro level, micro focused moments might seem like a lot to manage for somebody, right? Like, okay, Mm -hmm. I mean, I got to remember to do this in the morning. I got to remember to do this at night before I go to bed, right? That's the sneaky brain saying, oh, here's one more thing you got to remember to do. Add it Um, to to the to-do list. Add this to the (laughs) list. How do you help your clients work through that and, and see that it's actually not a burden, that it's something that is actually quite easy? Right. So micro-focus moments, and creating transformation. It's kind of like this dance that we create while we're in the present, but we're working towards this future. And focus asks, what can I do right now in the present? But when we're looking for this big change, we know that it takes time. And, you know, we all sit back and we, yeah, we want it now, but we also know it's going to take time for true transformation. What we like doing is dreaming of the could be, right? Could be is a future date. So first we need to broaden our view like that umbrella from what's going on right now. And we shift our attention for a moment to the future. What does that end look like after you've achieved achieved this goal? What does that feel like? And this is the part that we jump over. Are you ready? For a moment, get your goal in mind. Imagine that you've reached this goal. Stop. Imagine it. Hold on to that feeling. That feeling that you're feeling right now inside you. Do you feel it? That's what we mostly wanted. So let's love ourselves enough to allow it now, even if it's just for a moment. Okay. Now from that feeling, decide what might need to happen to get you to the future. 
you break it up into those bite-sized pieces like we talked about so that then we can turn those into those micro-focus moments. So if your goal, for example, is to become a healthier version of you, you zoom out and you look at the future, that's a so much healthier you. How does that feel? Allow yourself just a micro-focus moment to feel it. Hold on to that moment for a moment or to that feeling for a moment. Now, instead of focusing all of your efforts of your day to get there, you figure out your micro-focus moments of what you could do to get there. Is it to take a moment at the store and just throw in a couple extra veggies in the cart that you're like, huh, I wonder what these would be like. Or is it to make a more conscious choice for dinner at a restaurant? That is a micro-focus moment. That one moment where we take a little more conscious, conscience, how do you say that? <laughs> conscientious <laughs> effort. There you go. You got it. <laughs> at the restaurant. You know, is it that you add a different skill to your workout routine that would ask a little bit more of your body because it's not used to it? Would it be to add one more glass of water during your day? What are the little doable moments that you could do and take that after a year of adding up all of these micro-focus moments, it's actually adding up to a lot. So you have your goal in mind, but you don't let it hijack your mind and you take all of your focus away from everything else that you need to do, right? So we just insert them a little bit here, a little bit there and then allow them to add up and notice the wins every night, at least three, because my brain would be like, yeah, we didn't do this, but I, wait a second. Actually, I did do that. <laughs> you know, I literally need to stop my brain from telling me what's wrong and switching it over to what's right. Mm -hmm. And that is what's building my confidence and my faith and my belief in myself. So true. I had a conversation with somebody once and I think probably was on the podcast actually. And it's been a long time and I can't remember who it was, but I remember them saying the only person that can help us become that future person that we see that we, you know, that feeling that we crave um, is our current self, like this self who sits with us today, it's today's mm -hmm. version of Heather, today's version of Amber, right? Like that's the person that can help us be future Heather. And we got to take care of her. Like I got to take care of this person and, and love her and help her to make her choices today so that she can be who we see her being also in the future as well. And I just really appreciated that. And you are you really bring that vibe, that energy of love, love your present self so that you can take care of her and help her to be the person that, you know, that you want her to continue to be and to progress to become. Yeah. I mean, that is where it starts, right? It's believing yeah. in ourselves, loving ourselves for our messy parts and our amazing parts. Mm -hmm. Right. And then chalking up all those little wins in order to raise those feel good feelings. So so good. I'm so glad for this conversation because it's just been simple, but yet very actionable. Like there, it seems like thing, it seems like things that we can do, right? It doesn't seem yeah. overwhelming. And like I said before, you know, and we know this, but it's the small things that great things happen and mm -hmm. just get to keep that in focus. So thank you for sharing yeah. those with us today. Listen, it's totally doable. And, and I am one who likes to beat up on myself, which is why I love helping others not beat up on themselves. Cause I'm like, no, no, I go through it too. And I get it. We mm -hmm. all do it. Right. So even if it starts with one micro focus moment, that's why I started it that way with my one group, they needed to start small because of where they were. And so even if it's just one thing and then get good at that and then add another moment right? But there's all these moments that we take already in the day. We just don't realize that we're taking them. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's just noticing the micro-focus moments that we're already taking and chalking that up for the win. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I find that I have to set an alarm on my phone <laughs> if I want to remember to take moments like that. Yeah. And that for me has been very helpful because I'm not good at remembering to do the things that I set out. Yeah. To do oh no. My watch tells me to breathe. I've said it like what, eight o'clock, 12 or 10, 12, like every two hours, breathe Amber. You got this. You got this. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's I hear hysterical. you. Yep. <laughs> Where would we be? Where would we be if we weren't intentional, right? That's how I, that's oh, what yeah. I've decided. So we would be where we wouldn't want to be. I'm thinking. Yeah. So there you go. Yep. Good point. <laughs> All right, Amber, I know you've mentioned that you are working with a group of people. Do you also work with individual clients or do you just do group coaching? Yeah. So this group that I'm working with is through a different foundation. And so I'm kind of, I'm consulting for them. Okay. Um, but right now I do uh, private one-to-ones. Okay. And so, yeah, just go to amberwin.com and it's W I N N. If it was like W I N that'd be sweet, but it's not, and it's not a Y. So amberwin.com mm-hmm. and that'll get you to my homepage and you can sign up for a free mini session if you want, um, or just dive right into, uh, getting bulk sessions. It's whatever you want. I'm here for you. Well, the irony of your last name is not eluding me. I, when we first got and we started talking about small wins, I'm like, well, she has the perfect last name. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is so not work good. nice. Yeah. Easy <laughs> Thank to you. remember. Thank so, you to my husband. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we will put all the links to those things in our show notes, Amber, so people can find you easily. Thank you for sharing this with us today and helping us to continue to progress because that's why we're all here. So absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much for listening everyone today. And thank you, Heather. I really appreciate you for having me on. It's been so fun. It's great. I love it. (laughs) All right. We will see you again next week, everybody. Bye everyone. Oh, wait, remember everyone. Remember you are loved. Hey, we just wanted to thank you for spending part of your day here with us at Latter-day Life Coaches and being part of this conversation. Share this with your friends so that you can have a conversation with them on this topic as well. And as always, subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. Have a good one, my friends.